Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Damola and I will be doing a bit of a skincare video today. Another highly requested video. But yeah, we're talking skincare. I'm actually not wearing any makeup right now. This is just my bare skin. She's a little bit on the dry side, typically. Um, I do have some hyperpigmentation, very mild though. I've been like working to fade. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the products that I'm currently using. I switch it up often. Luckily, I'm able, if I know what ingredients are in the product, I can kind of play around with new products and see what I like. But this is what I'm currently using right now. And if it ever changes, I will definitely update y'all. So yeah, let's get started before my camera dies. So first, I'm gonna be using the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I'm a big fan of double cleansing, even if I don't wear makeup, because I typically wear sunscreen during the day. Yeah, so, um, and I got this uh, trick from LA Beautyologist. Um, so that's the reason why I started double cleansing. And also she suggested this as well, and I've been loving it. I buy bottles at a time um, because it's that good. So I'm gonna go ahead. You can see it's kind of like an olive oil texture or consistency rather. And I try to do the 60 seconds, you know, cleansing rule that LA Beautyologist also kind of made popular. But let's be honest, I just do it as long as I'm inclined to do it. Just to make sure, break down any oils, dirt, gunk, that might have accumulated on my skin over the course of the day. All right, let's wash this off. Sorry if I seem a little rough with my skin. I don't think I am, but I've been told I am. So <laughs> let's acknowledge that right now. All right, so up next we have the Peach Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. This is just the one that I'm currently using. I swap out a couple cleansers because I don't know, I just like trying new ones out. That's the texture. This one does foam up a bit, you'll see. I do have semi-sensitive skin, so I tend to go with like really gentle cleansing products. I don't like to go too stripping, I'd rather it be hydrating. Use a face towel to kind of dab away some but not all of the water because I just, I can't be dripping everywhere. I just can't. Up next, we have Rose Water Toner. So this is another hydrating, I guess it's considered also an essence, apparently. Um, just like to do that, not a lot. And I just pat that into the skin. I don't like to use like um, cotton pads or anything because I'd rather, like, I don't have reusable ones anymore. That's, like, on my wish list. Next up, we have the Tower 28 SOS Rescue, Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Yes. I do this twice a day, um, mainly because I've noticed it helps with, like, any... I don't usually break out, but if I do have minor, like, texture issues, this has actually been helping, especially with mask wearing. Following up with those sprays and toners, I'm gonna to be actually using the Coserix um, Mucinin Essence. Mucin? Mucin Essence? So I was really unsure about this product. Um, it's super slimy. You could see just how. Yeah, I might, that might have been too much, honestly. Little goes a long way. Um, I was really uncertain about this because I was like snail mucin, like the stuff they, is it excretions? Yeah. It is cruelty free though. So that was good for me to know. I really it like was like, how do y'all get this out of the snail? But regardless, it actually does a really great job of hydrating the skin. Um, I'm really, as you can tell, I layer on the hydrating products. Like, it's 
it's very important and you try to drag it to the neck. I forget to do that so often. I need to do a better job doing that. Depending on uh, the day of the week, I will either go in with Faded by Topicals, which is a, um, what is this? Oh, it helps with hyperpigmentation. It's a serum that I've been using for the last like year or so. And if I'm not using this, because I try to only use this like twice a week, I will go in otherwise with vitamin C from Coco Kind. Today is a faded day, so I'm literally going to take a pea size amount. Like they really recommend you do not that's how much I put on the littlest amount because this is considered a product with like kojic acid tranisemic acid melatonin niacinamide licorice root um it's just like you have to be careful with your skin barrier um again if you want to learn more about like these kind of products because i am not an esthetician i will link a couple folks that i follow like religiously i've already mentioned one la beautyologist sean garrett um the dewiest i love her as well um i feel like i'm missing someone oh makeup from makeup for women of color as well i follow them either on twitter or instagram or both and i'm always like what what should i be doing help me help me figure this out i try to be really mindful of how often i use that product and also i like to make sure i'm using a lot of products with ceramides in it including this one from coco kind it's their ceramide barrier serum and this just makes sure that i don't you know mess up my barrier and usually you can tell when you've messed it up from what i've learned is when your skin is like irritated just itchy, um, breakouts, that's when you know you've like either over exfoliated it or you've just like added too many like products that are meant to fade hyper, hyper pigmentation. So you can already tell how my skin looks after using, using faded just once. I'm very much obsessed with this product. <laughs> it's so good. Next, we go on to moisturizer. So I'm gonna be, where's the front? Okay, yes, using the e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is the one in Fragrance Free. I believe there is a fragrance version, but I just prefer this one. Put that in. And I now will layer with Ten Balm by Indeed. They sent this to me, I'd never heard of them before. Um, but I really like this um, cream. The ingredients aren't on here, but there's like royal jelly, like I think it might be considered an occlusive. I don't know if I said that right. But basically they seal in moisture. They don't necessarily add moisture, but they seal in moisture. So that's why I like this as well. This is the last product that I use. This is the Ordinary Rosehip Oil. Um, I just, again, help seal in. It helps seal in everything. I might be overdoing it with the moisturizing products, but this works for me. <laughs> I kind of go ham at night because I just don't want to wake up dry. And I also use a humidifier. Like that is literally my godsend. All right, so this is what I look like after I do all my skincare for the night. Just like healthy. I feel like it looks healthy, <laughs> which I really, really, really like. So yeah, thank you for joining me um, on my nighttime skin routine. Um, again, I'm not an esthetician. This is what works for me. So definitely like follow folks that, especially black estheticians, they really know what they talk about. Um, really follow folks and like listen to folks that have the, the you know scientific background to talk about skincare. 
So yeah, I will see you next time.